live this morning welcome 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 okay guys so this morning i obviously didn't know what to cook i didn't know what to post i didn't post anything because i didn't know what to cook before twine left here for work this morning he's like what are you cooking in Celie's kitchen today i'm like i don't know but he knows that closer to the time I'm going to think of something which I actually did. So, of course, guys, this week I posted something on Facebook with um, potatoes. So, I have a lot of potatoes in the house. I had red, I have, I said I had, I have red potatoes and I also have rosette potatoes. So, I decided to boil some of my red potatoes because I had those before I got the big bag of rosettes. So, um what i'm gonna do i am gonna whip this up with some vegan um meatballs some veggies some cheese i'm gonna dry this in a pot like get it crisp break it up in pieces and create something like a dip i i, I mean i wouldn't even call it a dip but just something that you would scoop up with this so these are some wraps so I'm being creative this morning. I have never made this before. This is my first time making this. So let's see how this comes out. Never made it before. Good morning, Barbara. Welcome to the live. Happy Saturday to you too, Barbara. Joining me all the way from Kingston, Jamaica, guys. Yes. So Facebook, YouTube, and I'm a big up, big up people them. Just come on in the kitchen and let's get the baller rolling. Alrighty, so today we are gonna talk about self-care. You might have wonder how I have up this fancy hairstyle. So I decided to speak about self-care because you know, ladies and gentlemen on this live, as we get older, sometimes we tend to get lax in you know in our appearance, um, our nails, our hands, our skin. And, you know, we get busy every day, so we just running, 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 work, home, sleep, get up, do the same thing all over again, and we don't get time to take care of ourselves. And guess what's happening? We're getting older each day. The cells in our bodies are dying. We're getting wrinkles. We're not taking care of them. And before you know it, we turn old people. <laughs> yes, we get older, wrinkled, and depressed. So... We're here to talk about self-care this morning and we're gonna cook up something while we are talk and i also did some research this morning for all the diabetics or people who are pre-diabetes or pre-diabetics or diabetics i you know i'm a research queen i found something this morning i ordered it for myself um i'm gonna see how it works first but based on the research i learned so much i learned so much we don't have to live with diabetes and i'm gonna fix my mother my mother is diabetic so i'm gonna get her on it asap she needs to throw away all those 15 different medications she's taking because it's just messing up her kidneys it's messing her up and she just needs to get back on track being a healthy person all over again all right so we'll get to that later on in the live in the life so i just bought some potatoes in this pot i'm just gonna drain the excess water from it in my caranda so i'm draining all the excess water i'm just gonna let it sit in the pot so it can continue you know draining and then i'm gonna make my tea in the meantime so this morning guys i've already hot the water um i'll be making some i found this i don't remember which store i found it but i found it in some kind of store it's called the fruit farm sauce up green tea and you know i'm a tea person and i love different teas and i like to try different teas so this one is sour sup green tea and it's very tasty i've had it two nights ago and it just melts me down for bed yeah i had two bags that made it strong it was really really good and you know green tea normally keeps you up but for some reason, I don't know if because I was tired, it just kept me going. All right. So I'm just going to add this to the cup. Got to add some hot water. 
And of course, guys, you know, I cut out the sugar because them some I have fatty liver. So I've been using the light blue organic agave, which comes from a plant. It's not sweet, it's tasty, and I don't miss the sugar, honestly. I really, really don't miss the sugar. It's very, very, very extremely tasty. It's not sweet. It tastes just right, perfect. Mm. So I'm just going to leave this and let it seep for a little bit because I just put the tea bag in. And I'm going to get the ball rolling with the cooking. And I have a rotating camera um, lined up on my YouTube right now. Um, it's spinning all over the place, but it's okay. Alrighty, so let's get cooking. So I'm going to be cooking in my wok. You know I like to cook in my wok, my favorite pot. So I am going to just slide the stove right here. Let me turn this camera a little bit more so you could all see what I'm doing. Because okay. it's on a rotating mode. Oh Lord, it's tilting the wrong way. Alrighty, so I'm right here, so it's going to follow me. Alrighty, can you see Barbara? Okay, let me put it in the rotating mode. Take it off the rotating mode because it's messing up my flow. Alrighty. So, guys, I'm getting my wok all hot. And um, I'm going to be pouring some avocado oil inside. And I'm going to be chopping up this seasoning. But, ooh, it gets hot fast because it's very, it's a very thin pot. So... I'm just going to be cutting up these seasoning right here. Um, I'm going to be chopping up. Ooh. I need to turn off the rotation of this camera. It's not doing me good this morning at all. <laughs> okay. I just want the pot to... You can see Barbara? Okay. I just want to make sure you could see me. Alrighty. So I have some scallions right here, guys, which I'm going to be chopping up real quick. I've already washed them. I've cut off the bottom part of it and the little um, brown parts at the top to make my life easier on live. So, you know, I prepped it. So I'm just chopping it up real quick. Alright, so I have some chopped up scallions here, and um, I'm going to chop up some red peppers. Good morning, Carmen. By the way, Carmen, the cake was so delicious. Good morning, Sister Otley. How are you? Thanks for joining the live on Facebook this morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty, so I'm chopping up some red peppers guys some baby bell i'm just using one because it's you know a good size Alrighty, so i have some chopped up bell peppers i have some chopped up green onions which we call scallions in jamaica and i'm cutting about five um grape tomatoes i like grape tomatoes guys because it's a little sweeter than the regular tomatoes you know i guess that's why they call it grape tomatoes it's like grapes so i have those chopped up and i'm chopping up one whole onion Chopped up, nicely chopped up. And guys, it's snowing outside. For those of you who don't live in New York, you're missing all of this good snow we're getting. <laughs> 
I hate when it snows. The street is a mess. My car is a mess. You have to drive in the mess. Your mats in the car gets all salty with the mixture of snow. It's a mess. All right, so I'm putting some fine leaves in the cut up here that I'm doing. Good morning, Audrey. Good morning, June. I'm gonna late for class this morning. So for those of you who are just joining the live this morning, guys, today I'll be talking a little bit about self-care. Yes, self-care because, you know, guys, as we get older, we tend not to pay attention to certain things, right? We don't take care of our face. We have little warts coming up. We don't think it's important to get rid of it. I have one right here. I'm going to Canada to burn it off because one of my cousin is an esthetician. Or so you call the word? <laughs> esthetician. So I'm going to get it burned off. Yes. Because as you get older, you still want to look nice and sprucey. Especially like me, you know, we have a young husband. I have to keep the man. I'm going to run. <laughs> no, I'm not going to wait. Trust me. Oh, yes. So ladies, I'm just... And, and, and men, fix up yourself. Take care of your hygiene. Use your deodorants. Use your lotion. Make sure your hands are not dried. And sometimes I tend to have that problem. I'm rushing out of the house, especially for church. And because I know I have lotion in the car, I depend on the lotion in the car. But you have better ones in the house. Yes. Grease yourself. You know, make moisturize your body, you know. Um, fix up your face if you have some spots in there cover it use your cover up whatever and cover it up when you're going out look nice yeah god made us to be beautiful you know fix up your hair your hair is your glory and i'm gonna be talking about the hair maybe next week or the week after um about my hair a lot of people don't know a little secret that i'm about to share because you know i'm very transparent and i keep things real but we'll talk about that another day all right so guys i cut up all the seasoning right here and for those of you who are just joining this is some vegan meatballs which i chopped up in little squares um i already boiled some red skin potatoes i had them draining in the coranda and what i'm gonna do I'm gonna whip it. I'm gonna be whipping this up in the pot. I'm gonna be adding some vegan mozzarella cheese. I have a big pack here. If you don't want some, inbox me because I know it's gonna get spoiled on me. I can't use it all off. Um, and I have an array of seasoning right here. Um, I have some salt-free seasoning. And guys, this seasoning, and I'm gonna be honest with you, this came from Dollar Tree salt free seasoning and when you see the array of herbs that is in this seasoning it's amazing amazing um sandra said i found it you found it too wow nice so it's granulated garlic in it minced onions orange peel black pepper um it has crushed red pepper parsley flakes and lemon oil and this seasoning is amazing, amazing, amazing. Good morning, Chris. So I'm going to add all of that to, to the mixture. Of course, I'm adding some adobo, a little bit of crushed pepper, a little parsley. And of course, this seasoning came from Burlington. And this is roasted garlic red bell pepper. And this is so delicious as well. So I'll be adding a little bit of this. But you can add your own seasoning because I'm sure you don't have all of these seasoning if you're let's say from jamaica you could use your own creation and the recipe will come out just the same okay all right so my wok is hot i could feel the heat yes guys so i'm adding some avocado oil to my wok and then because it's very hot already i'm gonna be adding all my condiments right here my onions green onions bell peppers tomatoes and of course some thyme leaves oh, a piece of stem all right so i'm just adding this in the wok
So I'm just going to be stirring this right here. Let me turn up my fire a little bit. I just want to make sure. Judian, good morning. How are you? Welcome to the live. I, I'm using the rotating camera this morning, guys, and it's giving me a little bit of issue. Uh, it's rotating in the wrong direction. All righty. I hope you guys can see. All righty. I know um, Facebook. Good morning, Philip Royal. I see you on my live. Thanks for joining the live. So I'm sorting all the seasoning right here, guys. So this is nice and mushy already in my wok. See? For those of you who can't see, nice and cooked. That's why I love the wok, you know, guys. It cooks everything fast. Especially when I'm doing my Hawaiian rice, I use the bigger wok. Woo! Excitement. Alrighty. So I'm adding my meatball pieces this morning to this mixture. Now, guys, I've never made this dish before. This morning, I didn't know what to make as usual. Because sometimes you think you run out of ideas, but there is always something out there for you to cook. Right, Judy? Right, Chris? So I'm just sauteing this in the avocado oil with the mixture of herbs that I've added to the wok. All right, so now I'm going to add my potatoes. So I used about six medium red skin potatoes. So I think I want to add something to this. I think I want to add some sweet chili pepper sauce. Okay. I'm adding some sweet chili pepper sauce. I have to open the bottle. Because normally I use this bottle whenever I go out and I do um, catering gigs. You know, it's easier to sprinkle. Oh, the top is white. All right, let's have to use the top. So I'm adding some of this to the pot. Just for taste. So you could add any pepper sauce of your choice. But I choose to use this one. Let me open it so it comes out faster. Because you know you want to add a little heat to the pot. And then I'm going to start out with my adobo. And then of course I'm going to use my Dollar Tree seasoning. I'm proud to use it because it tastes so, it's amazing. Tell them, Sandra, you know, say goodbye. Tell them, oh, whoops. Tell them how amazing this thing is. Let me give them a joke, guys. I was cooking fish for Super Bowl last week. So I ran out of garlic powder. Because I have a special mix that I used to do my fish. So I took this out. But because it has all these things in it, what I did, I got a sieve. And I sieved the, the, the thing. And I was rubbing it through the strain. And I was sifting it. And trust me, guys, the fish tunnel. Ask them. Ask the Super Bowl people. They could tell you. And I'm going to add some of this ro roasted um, red garlic mixture. I changed my mind about the crushed red pepper because I just added some sweet chili pepper sauce. And it has the pepper flakes in it already, so I don't want it too spicy. And now I'm going to be adding some parsley to the mixture. So I hear it like it's frying. I don't want it to be frying right now. So guys, you could make your meatballs if you eat beef. 
Or if you're vegan, you could get some, oops, some spill on my stove. My stove is clean. Um, you could get your meat, any meatball of your choice and you could try this recipe. I think my fire is too high. So now guys, let me clean up right here. Now guys, I'm gonna be adding my vegan mozzarella. So I have my fire on low. So I'm just gonna shake a little bit in there. So I'm just gonna mix up this bad boy right here. I call everything bad boy. <laughs> And you know, guys, mozzarella cheese, it kind of have a stretchy um, texture when it melts. So you're going to see stretching in it like um, when something spoils and it, it has that, oh, yeah, like gum. Now you could eat this by itself because this is a meal in itself. But crazy me decided that I'm going to make some scoops to scoop it out. So let's put this on the back fire and put it on low. You know what? Let me put it on the stove because this pot is broad as ever. Alrighty. So I have some wraps here. Good morning, Josephine. I have some wraps here, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to warm the wraps until they're crisp. And then I'm going to break them up. So when we put this in a serving bowl, we're just going to be scooping it with the wraps when they get hard. So I'm putting my first wrap in. So I might do about two wraps. Later when twine comes, I'll, you know, I'll add more. I'll make more. So it's fresh. It's freshly made. Good morning, Douglas. Good morning, Sophie. I see you guys just popped up on the live. All right, guys. So this morning, as I told you before, we want to talk about self-care as women. And as we get older, you know, we have to take care of our bodies. You know, the wrinkles start to come, the, the, the warts the age spots, and we have to take care of them. We can't just throw in the towel and say, okay, I'm getting older in number, I'm aging, so these things are inevitable. You can take care of them, you can maintain them, you can remove them. You know, I have a ward here, and I'm going to go to Canada to remove it because I don't, I, I, I'm scared of laser stuff. My cousin is a licensed esthetician in Canada, so I'm just going to go there and have her remove it. The little wart right here. But as you get older, you get eight spots. I used to get acne in my younger years in school. I used to have mad, mad acne. When I was going to St. Louis, I had bumps on my face. But we young, we inexperienced, and we didn't know why. It was all the sodas I was drinking because nobody never loved soda like me. Cream soda and the pineapple soda, one I saw. With, with a patty and a coca bread. And it's all these junk that we were eating, which was causing all the acne, all the candy, all the greasy foods, the fried chicken, you know, the wrong things. But as you get older, you realize that these things are not good for you. You never get me drink about La Soda, ever. And when I was raising my kids, nobody could offer them a lollipop or soda. I would be mad. They, I didn't give them candy. If they got candy, it was behind my back when I wasn't looking. Or I leave them with the grandmother because, you know, the grandmother always spoil them and buy them stuff. You know, like Miss Tucker, she always give them candy or sweet stuff or, you know, treats, she call them. But I never approve of them because I didn't see. But I try my best not to give my kids sweets. Yep. Anyway, so as we get older... We have to prevent diabetes. 
because it creeps us it creeps up on us and this morning i was doing some research i came across a research on youtube and i i was glued to it for about an hour i don't want this overcooked let me turn this off and let me turn this over and i was so so shocked at you know what was being said now they were talking about what caused diabetes and you can get rid of it permanently now we have a thing in our body called the pancreas right and our body is made up of a hundred trillion cells and as we get older every day some of these cells die and guess what we're not eating the right foods to rejuvenate the cells yes but there are also some cells which i learned this morning called zombie cells they're called zombie cells and these cells covers the area or covers the pancreas no matter where you try you can't get rid of it it's like them just dead it. them just hold on so the pancreas get worse um the body needs insulin where sometimes you have to inject because the body not producing the insulin because these cells are blocking the pancreas from absorbing the nutrients that the body need so i learned that in order to remove these zombie cells there are some herbs out there that people need to take to remove them permanently because they can be removed you know but they can go into other parts of the body and cause problems so you need to remove them out the body totally yes i learned that too so you have a herb oops i don't want to burn my thing you have a herb called the um the 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 col the, col the colosseus herb and um the maca herb which makes insulin work sm smarter i'm sure you have heard about the maca root they said that the maca root makes the insulin works smarter the african mango when mr the man showed a picture of the african mango i said jesus father you know what kind of mango the man show you know black mango that we eat in jamaica we call it blackie that's the mango they call african mango and then i start learning realizing something that the africans when they came to jamaica when they were brought to jamaica they stashed some some root of some of these trees and these fruits and they took it to the caribbean and that's how they end up with a lot of the fruits that we eat today like the mango they call it african mango which we call blackie mango yes they said that that is good for fat burning it's a fat burning agent so that means uh, when me did like nana eat all them blackie mango off of my mother mango tree <laughs> me did i lose weight did i burn the fat yes the colosseus is a fat burning aid as well and that's a herb i didn't even know about that herb i have to go research it and see where to get it um, they have another herb called the Eleutherio herb, which increases energy and reduces fatigue. Now, all these herbs I'm telling you, you know, all of these break down the zombie cells around the, um, the pancreas. The maca root, of course, boots energy. And men, you know about the maca root because it, go, it give you the energy down there. <laughs> right. The guarana, which I learned about in Herbalife. It stimulates your metabolism. It gives you energy. It keeps you up. Yes. Like the, 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 the raw guana is in the Herbalife teas. And people say, oh, Herbalife tea full of, um, what do you call it? Caffeine. But it's the raw guana, which, which is the main ingredient, which stimulates the, metal the metabolism and give you the energy. So all of them suck me up create it, it removes the blockage from the, the the from the pancreas so the pancreas can function properly so the zombie cells hangs on to it so that's the reason why you have to be taking all these medication which doesn't help the problem 
it does not help the problem. The problem increased over a period of time because if you notice people who take insulin, before my mother started take, to take insul insulin, she used to take metformin, which was damaging her kidneys, and she did not know that. Eventually, the idiots realized that the thing was damaging her kidneys, and they took her off of it, and it was making her sick anyway. She would go to the bathroom regular, throwing up, nausea, can't sleep, all kind of problems. Yes. And I don't want them pharmacy people come sue me because I talk about herbs. But the Bible say that he gave us all these plants for a reason, for the healing of the nation. And guess what? We are not using them. We prefer to go get the quick fix at the pharmacy which only fix the problem for a day or two, and then you're going back to square one because you go back, go eat the bun, the cake, and it still doesn't solve the problem. But these herbs that I'm telling you about, they're all combined in a droplet that you put under your tongue twice a day, and diabetes goes away like magic. Guess what? I ordered a bottle this morning. It was expensive. I ordered a bottle. I'm going to let my mother try it. But it's all these things that I told you about that's in that one little bottle. Yep. Because also the guarana, it drops cholesterol levels and it allows you to burn the calories too. Yes. So it does wonders. It does wonders. All right. Enough of that. So we were talking about diabetes. I was supposed to talk about self-care. And of course, it's a part of self-care because if you don't take care of the physical inside, how are you going to take care of the physical outside? Because whatever is inside, it's going to show on the outside. Yes. If you have certain diseases, you know that sometimes people have buildup on their tongue. A lot of buildup is from something that's going on on the inside. I didn't know that. I learned that. She said, yes, Dr. Carleen, I'm enjoying being healthy. Yes. And I have Douglas on my live she is a health freak she makes up she mixes all the juices without the sugar she mixes up all the herbs our husband plant all kind of things in the backyard when i'm ready call me so come 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 get come get your color look come get your pop show come get your peppers yes so yes so self-care guys so as we get older we get wrinkles because the cells are dying in our bodies as we get older the skin the body loses collagen it now um produced the natural collagen so you have to find something to you know make the skin nice and supple so this morning i am giving away a few things i have a lot of things in my house a whole lot of things that i don't use i get them people give them to me um since i'm doing youtube i get a lot of free stuff so i'm giving it away all to you guys all right, so this morning I'm giving away and I'm not asking questions to give this away. I'm giving away um, 100% tea tree oil. It has melaleuca and I can't call this a word. Yet. It's an alternifolia oil, which provides cooling and soothing sensation. So I'm giving away this live better 100% tea tree oil so if you want this oil um from youtube and facebook send me a heart right now on the screen and all my facebook police look and see who sends the first heart so i could give it away send me a heart if you like this one not asking questions this morning to win a prize i'm just giving away stuff come on okay don facey so don facey you um you're getting this tea tree oil i'll find a way to get it to you Alrighty. i also i'm just waiting on this thing let me turn it up so it go like a faster i also have a anti-aging spa treatment mask so it's a mask that you would put over your face before you take a shower let it dry on your face so it can open up your pores and this has grapefruit and collagen and papal mousse. 
or whatever that is purple mousse don't know what that is i think it's the grapefruit in french <laughs> Uh, she said, tell them what the tea tree oil is for. Okay. Um, so tea tree oil, based on what I know, if you have a rash, if you get a cut, the tea tree oil helps to heal the skin. And this one says that, oh, let me look at what it says on this one. It says, use externally, do not use on irritated um like i guess raw cuts but it helps to soothe rashes um it's a topical agent you could use droplets of it on the skin with your fingers or you could use a cotton ball but basically it soothes the skin that's what it does it soothes the skin. So if you have a little rough elbow, some tea tree oil is good for it. If you need black, because you used to kneel on a country and shine the wooden floor, and you need crusty, the tea tree oil is good for that. Alrighty. So I'm giving away. Good morning, Karine and Paulette. I'm giving away a pour. Oh, yeah. Let me give away this one first. So if you like this prescription anti-aging mask, Send me a heart right now. Send me a heart right now. Oh, Barbara. Barbara just sent me a heart on YouTube. So this spa description, anti-aging grapefruit collagen is for Barbara. Barbara, Barbara, Barbara first, you sister Otley on YouTube. All righty. So the next giveaway is a pore refining Hydrogel face mask with aloe vera and tea tree. And this is my favorite. I've used this a million times. People always say, oh, your face is so pretty. I don't suck me on my use. Yeah, man. You have young husband, you know. So you have to have the look. Yes. Sometimes when I put on some things and I got you to them, so where are you going at that? Go take it off. Yes. Ladies, we have to look good. Smell good. Go to the store when they have sale, Bath and Body Works. Buy the, 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 um, don't buy the sweet of sweet of one then. Try and find the, um, like the shea butter and the aloe vera and the more herbal type lotions. Yeah. And, and use it on your skin. Use it on your skin. It helps. You know, my husband always said, in the know how some of these young girls especially in church and i'm not bashing church girls but he said some of these young girls in church they want to get married right they're looking for husbands but their presentation is poor dress nice look nice fix up your hair you know pull a powder up on your face you know cover the spots Lotion your skin, wear a nice stocking, wear a matching shoe, look nice. And me, I can't go through that door unless I look good. Because they might tell me if I forgot to turn back and take it off. And it, it's probably only one or two times he ever told me that because I'm always on my A game. And you guys will never believe I'm 54 years old. Yes. One day I'm going to make the mistake to take off my ring and go to a road and I drive. I'm going at the mall. And this little picnic, younger than my son, I come hit on me with him bright self. I said, listen, I could be a mother, possibly a grandmother. Go sit down. <laughs> yes. So people always tell me, you don't look your age. I'm 54 and I'm proud. I am proud of my age. Yes, I just turned 54 in January 15. And... I'm getting older and I'm taking care of myself. Yep. I might not get enough sleep. That's my only bad thing. But for the most part of it, guys, I try my endeavor best to make sure I put on my lotion. I put on my sweet up, sweet up. And especially on a weekend when, you know, twine come home early. You look nice. You got to have some dinner. And sometimes it doesn't even have to be dinner. It can be an ice cream cone down on Cross Bay because you have Cold Stone Creamer down the road. There's a, um, a seaside down the road like you're going to Far Rockaway. And sometimes we buy our ice cream and we park up in the vehicle and we go down there and we eat our ice cream and we just talk. 
Yeah, these are some, these, this is like therapy. You know, sometimes you need to talk. Talk about the day. Talk about plans that you have. Don't talk about it in the house. Because when you're in the house, you tend to watch TV and you don't talk about things. Go out. It's therapy. Fix up yourself. Yeah, man, look nice. Oi, 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 what, what? Uno no want one husband. Hey. Fix up on herself. Yes, so I'm giving away. <laughs> Don't, tell, don't say I'm crazy. I'm giving away this hydrogel face mask with aloe and tea tree. So let me see a heart real quick. Who wants this one? Who wants this one? This one is the good one. This is the good up, good up one of me use. Come heart, 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 heart. Heart, 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 heart. Come heart, heart, heart. Come on, come on Facebook. Oh, Sister Hartley. All right, so Sister Hartley won this poor refining um mask all right so sometimes we work hard all day and we get tired feet diane you're too slow <laughs> you take too long for time all right try win the next one this is a bag of epsom salts spearmint and menthol yeah this one is so good you come in with tired feet swollen feet a long day you're probably driving all day or standing all day this is the perfect epsom salt to soak your feet in when i was growing up in a i always think epsom salt is for when you want to wash out <laughs> jamaica we call it wash out or a detox they call it here but i didn't know some of the benefits of epsom salt until i lived in america that people actually use it for their feet they use it in spas they use it to take a shower you know, you want to have a good night rest, you, you throw it in your bath and you sit in your bath and relax. Yes. So, let me see a heart real quick. Who wants to win this one? For your feet. Tired feet. Tired feet. Come on. Come on. On a type tool, slow enough. Barbara. Barbara on... YouTube, yes, she gave double hearts. She want to make sure so she win that one, yeah. You need to send me a heart, Diane. A heart, heart emoji, a heart. Barbara beat you to it on YouTube. So Barbara, you want two gifts. You want the this and this. So I have to find a way to get. So it look like Jamaica win all of the the, the prize them today. All all the whole Jamaica want to win the prize. No problem. We'll get it to you. Alrighty. So, this one right here, so now, hmm, for all the chunky people on my life, like myself here, who are trying to lose the little flab on the hair and the little flab around here, this cream right here is magic. Magic. Yeah, man. Thumbs up to Jamaica, Donnie. It's called the Perlier. And this, it's like a lift like a facelift you know when them go get facelift and cut up cut up them body no this one come in a tube yes and it's natural it says it's a hundred percent pomegranate a hundred percent pomegranate pure antioxidant so you use it here and it starts firming up this thing right here yeah it's very good I have tubes and tubes of it. Yes. Use it and give yourself an arm lift. So, who want to win this one real quick? Type fast. Come on, Facebook. 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 Diane. Okay, Diane got it. Diane got it this time. Diane, I see your heart real quick. Paul, it's too late. <laughs> okay, so Diane Brown won this from Jamaica. Let me tell you, so Jamaica win all of the prizes this morning, you know. I tell you, oh no good. All right, so this one has pomegranate and it's pure. It's very good. All right. Very, very, very good. So I have one more prize giveaway, but this is for a man. No, men, we just talk about ladies fixing up yourself, right? Let me turn this over. We talk about ladies fixing up yourself. 
So now for the men, you ever see the men them out a road with a bump up, bump up face and them head back a rat now? I hate see to see. <laughs> men, you need to take care of yourselves because guess what? When we women, we're looking for a candidate. We're looking for a lot of things. Me, I'm looking at your mouth first. Mm -hmm. If the teeth them not look right and the gum not look right because I like to kiss. Um, but ta-ta, ta-ta. Twine past the test like this. Yeah, because everything the check. All right. <laughs> you know, you know, we keep it real out in Sealy Kitchen. So this is a high time bump, bump stopper. Bump stopper. It's hearty A's shave gel with cooling menthol, tea tree oil, and aloe vera. Yes, very good. So for a man on my life, for a man on my life, if you want to win this prize, send me a heart. I'm not sure which men on the live is watching. I know Chris is watching from Jamaica. I don't know if you would want to win this prize since Jamaica win all of the prize them. Send a heart in the chat. Send a heart in the chat. If you don't send a heart, you can't win the prize. I made prize giving easy today. Come on. Put a heart in the comment. Put it in the comment. Put it in the comment. Put it in the comment. No men? Well, if you don't want it, me keep it for twine. Well, I'm still waiting. If you if you want this gift, you gotta send a heart. All right, guys. I still I have two more prize giveaways, but I'm gonna ask questions to win those prizes. And these two prizes are some Swedish dishcloths, four in each pack. When you wet these things right here, they swell. It's big. Yeah, four packs each. So I'm giving away one each. Okay, Sanjay Black. Who is Sanjay Black? Okay, so you win the bump stopper. Where are you from, Sanjay? Text in the chat and say where you're from. Sanjay Black. Where are you from? Which country? Australia? Bangladesh? On YouTube? Type it in the chat. Okay, guys. So... My wraps are nice and stiff. Oh, you're from Jamaica. Oh, Sanjay, te text and tell me. You got to inbox me your information after the live so I'll know where to send it. Okay, so Jamaica did well today, guys. Most of the persons who won the prizes today, they are from Kingston, Jamaica. Big up to Jamaica. Let me see some Jamaica emoji flags. Yes. All right. So I'm done with that. So now for the goo over here that I've cooked. And before I do the presentation, I want to give away these two prizes. So this week, I posted something on Facebook. I think I posted it on Instagram too. Um, there was a special day this week. You all know what that special day was. And I made a presentation of something. Who can type in the chat real quick and tell me what was the presentation? And what did I say? What was the presentation and what did I say? Come on. I posted something. It was written. But it was written with some things that I used. What were they? Slow connection on Facebook. On ugh. if you can tell me what I what I showed and what I said, you win this dish cloth. And these are so good, guys. These are so durable. Yeah, I have a whole bunch of them under there. Yep. Okay, let me give you clues. Let me give you clues. I said something about love. With the things that I use. What were those things? I'm giving you clues. I'm making the answer easy for you. Come on. Nobody in the chat. Nobody in, on YouTube, Facebook. No? All right, I'll wait. All right, guys. So, I'm going to break these things up. Let me see if I find my pizza cutter. It will make life easier. 
Let me see if I find it in my green drawer. Nope. Yeah, from a pizza cutter. All right, I'll use this. This does a good job. All right, guys. So I'm cutting these in fours because they're going to be serving as a spoon. So Sandra said it was the word love from potatoes. Yes, Sandra got it. Sandra got it. And Don got it too. Who? What did Don say? Potato, 10 bags? No, that wasn't the answer. Yeah, it was potatoes. Yeah, you're right. It was potatoes. Potato shape as a heart and letters in the word love. All right, so guess what? I'm just going to give it away to Don and, and Sandra. So Don and Sandra, I'm giving away the, um, the Swedish dish cloths. So Sandra get one and... Um, dawn from jamaica so all the prize winners this morning big up to all the prize winners from jamaica for winning all these lovely gifts um so i'm breaking these up in pieces guys because i'm going to use them as a little scoop for the goo we have in the pot over there i was cutting them but i can't be bothered i'll just break them up All right, so I've broken them up into pieces. So this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm just going to scrape some of this from the pot. Ooh, and look at all that cheese. Look at all this goo right here. Let me put the pot closer. So this is a nice little mixture right here. I'm not putting a lot. So it's nice and gooey and gummy and yummy. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stick. This is too big. I'm just going to stick pieces of. So let's say you're having a party, guys. And, you know, like Super Bowl party last week. This would be a good meal to serve at your Super Bowl party. So you would just stick pieces of the, um, what do you call it? The wrap, get it stiff, and then they will just scoop from the tray or whatever you serve it on. And they'll just eat. Mmm. 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 This is so delicious. Mmm. 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 Guys, this is so delicious. Mmm. So you don't need a fork or a spoon. You will just use this as your fork or spoon just to scoop up this gooiness and enjoy. So guys, if you liked what we cooked in Celie's Kitchen today, I want you to like this video, share this video, and if you're not yet subscribed to Celie's Kitchen YouTube channel, I don't know what you're waiting on. Visit our online merch store on YouTube and purchase something from yard i have t-shirts i have sweatshirts duffel bags um baby stuff onesies bibs bottles water bottles um mugs and i'm adding more as i go along i'm gonna get um spoon rests pot holders i'm gonna be adding more as i go along but go on Sealy's kitchen merch store and purchase something today also if you want to join our membership 
we have the sweet heat level, which is our first level. And um, we have another level as well. I forgot what I call that one. But I have two levels so far. But as I go along, I'm going to be adding about three or four levels of membership. When you're a member, you get exclusive perks, badges, gifts, you name it. We're doing it in C. Lee's Kitchen. What did um, Diane say? Many thanks for your benevolence to your virtual audience. Yes, you're welcome, Diane. You're very much welcome. Welcome, Sister Hazel from Oneness. Welcome to the live. You have to go back and watch the live from the beginning. Yes, we spoke about self-care this morning. We spoke about taking care of yourself. And guys, I mean, if you're in church, you know, talking about self-care, I, I got to run. But if you're, if you're going to church, you know what I mean? Say you have to all up yourself. You can still look nice and still be a Christian. Yes. You see. Why do why, why you think my husband approached me? This man check out my Facebook page two, two days before he actually approached me. And you know, one of the things he said attracted him to me, the modesty. Yes. He said all them girls with the woolly pan makeup and the eyelash and the little and the little. Him said, when you take it off, you want to run. <laughs> yes. He kept it real. You, you know, guys, you just have to. Stay on top of your game, you know, self-care. Take care of yourself. Take care of your body. Drink your herbs. Take care of your skin. As you get older, you know, use something for the wrinkles. It, you know, means that because you are saved and sanctified, you can't use something for your face to get rid of the little wrinkle on the spot then. Yeah, man. Fix up on yourself. Anyway, guys, I got to run. If you're just joining the live, go back and watch from the beginning. It was very interesting. We gave away a lot of gifts this morning. You missed out on all those um, skincare products and stuff that I gave away this morning. Yes, guys. So, as Jamaicans would say, what good. Some of want all on upon this live, Facebook and YouTube platform to what good. Take care of yourself and God bless all of you. Take care. Bye-bye.